better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. Yo, what's up, Ninja Giants? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button in order for you to become a gentle giant. So I'm just finishing off getting ready, um, and you guys are going to be spending the day or part of this day with me, uh, doing something I absolutely love. Uh, this is something that keeps me grounded, keeps me zen, keeps me, you know, feeling good. So uh, let me finish off getting ready, um, and we're gonna hit the road. Let's begin getting in. Hey Gigi, so I finally arrived. Uh, I am currently at Clip Refiersburg Nature Reserve. Um, and to be quite honest, this is one of my favorite places uh, to visit, uh, to take uh, a young hike, a young walk. Um, yeah, and this place keeps me zen. It just takes care of my my peace man like when i'm here i'm honestly at peace so i really enjoy being here uh, so and i think i've taken you guys on this journey before i'm not sure but yeah every time i'm here i feel good i feel zen um, my mental health is taken care of um, and also this place no particularly the other side of the reserve i've spent quite some time uh, studying the rocks and the formations of that area during my varsity days. Uh, for those that don't know, um, I am a geologist, so I studied geology in varsity. So I spent quite some time on the other side of the reserve, just studying all the formations and the rocks of that area. So, so yeah. So this is a very special place to me. Me and Anna, to be quite honest, in general, I'm that type of a person that the smallest things uh, or the smallest journeys or things I've encountered in my life that have made me who I am today uh, always like have a special place in my heart. So a place like this is just one of those. Yeah, swing it in and let's enjoy. Gigi's. Just taking a quick break. Um, this place is beautiful. We've been at it for just under a kilometer now. And I was like, as in, let me find a nice spot to just relax. Um, chilling on top of a uh, 
and the McDeloidal um, andesite or basaltic andesite. That's the name of this rock. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and like just being in nature, guys, I don't want to lie, is really, really beautiful. Like the Gigi's that know me know how much I enjoy being in nature, being out in nature to either enjoy it for myself or to capture content for my nature page through the eyes of why if you don't know it by now to go and check it out through the eyes of why that's where i capture a lot of my like nature content outdoor content so yeah but i really really enjoy being like in the outdoors it just in the zen man like it makes me feel good i've i've been here with my wife sometimes i do walk with her um but the other times where it's just you know always day out so I'm just here by myself enjoying like nature and stuff also speaking about being zen speaking about being at peace it is actually um, November or rather Movember which is a month dedicated to recognizing and it's actually an awareness month for men's health uh, from prostate cancer, testicular cancer, uh, mental health, suicide prevention, and all those type of things. So I think times like these are very important for us as men to take out, even though you might not enjoy nature, but finding things that are sort of like, um, that help with your mental health, particularly mental health, if I'm speaking about mental health, but obviously all men's health and different aspects of it are important. But yeah, man. Um, so it's quite good being here. There's some birds, you know, I need to put together a chart. Like, I'm really not good when it comes to birds. I'm still on that journey of learning about, like, different birds and different bird species. I love them, but I don't. I'm still on that journey of trying to learn as much as I can about birds. My wife bought me some, some bird life book that I've been meaning to sort of like it's also difficult to take your bird life book and also be out and sort of like take them off when you're also trying to capture them I think birds are actually quite difficult to like capture for like nature content and stuff like that but I'm still on the journey of learning about about birds but actually as I was still speaking about men's health particularly when I think about mental health I mean I personally here's a fun fact about me I'm not sure if there's any fun to it but here's a fun fact about me I'm personally I actually suffer from like social anxiety um, a lot of people generally don't know it um, but I do suffer from like social anxiety it's become a bit better now it's not as bad as it used to be but at the very same time I also don't know when it started because there was a time where I've never even suffered from like social anxiety or or any form of like anxiety in general but over time they just started like um, guys do you guys also check when there's a flight flying by, you wanna check what it is. Actually, let me not get into that. For those that know me also know that I love aviation. So every time I hear a plane, I'm always checking it out on my on my airplane uh, chart tracking thing. But as I was saying, good, I suffered from social anxiety. Before that, I don't really know when my social anxiety like really started. It's difficult to actually track back and actually see when I started having like social anxiety and yeah, those type of things because I've never really had like social anxiety. I used to love being out in public, being with people. Um, yeah, like I always used to look forward to just being out and about with people. But over time, I just started like having that social anxiety. And that's probably one of the things that's also made my wife like argue about time. You guys know on this channel, we always tend to argue about time, my wife and I. But part of also arguing about time is that due to my social anxiety, I've had to like part of the ways I deal with it or like one of the coping mechanisms for my social anxiety is that when I'm about to see people or when I'm like, I'm about to go to an event or a place where there's going to be a lot of people. I like arriving there early so that I get there, mentally prepare myself, just 
be familiar with the space, just be comfortable before I have to deal with people. So I've always had to force my wife to, baby, let's go early. I want to leave early. I don't want to get there late and all of that. Generally, I've always been that person. I always respect time and I like arriving at places early. But my social anxiety, it's made me want to arrive there even earlier than I would have normally. So... Yeah, that's probably one of the things that I've had to sort of like think when I think about mental health. Um, I know other people, do you guys, Gigi, do you guys like suffer from any mental health issues or social anxiety? How do you guys deal with it? Um, I know other people do take medication for like a boy anxiety and all of that. I've never had to go to sort of like that extent. Um, I think it's just finding my own personal ways of coping with it and dealing with it. But, and a lot of people, when you tell them you have social anxiety, they get shocked because they feel like the space that you're in, you kind of aren't even allowed to have social anxiety because you're in a social space, uh, which is content creation. Um, but how do you guys deal with it? But it does happen guys, to, to most of us. I've spoken to a lot of people other people don't even attend events, like like in the content creation space. They don't attend events because they like their social anxiety doesn't allow them, and also people just being the way they are. That's why, guys, it's also important to be kind to people. I feel like we've spoken about this quite a lot. Being kind to people, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people suffer from, so it's very important for you guys to be kind uh, to people. And, yeah, it's very, very important. Took which generation? I forgot which generation. I think there was a 2.6, no, 1.6 that way, and a 2.3 this way or the other way around. But I think I'm going to go back that side and go, like, to the top, top, because here it seems to, like, be flattening out and going down. I want to go out. I wanted to take some other shots that side for my nature page and yeah but guys like i was saying with the importance of taking care of your mental health particularly us as men i feel like yeah, as men there's a lot we also like go through yeah, from life society yeah, there's just a lot and i think it's very important to take care of our mental health i feel like even people that don't take care of our mental health we've kind of like seen some of the results in society of people not taking care of their mental health from violence, abuse, and all those type of things uh, that has resulted to a lot of people not taking care of their mental health. In general, yes, but other people, a result of a lot of the things that they do in society that has not made us live in peace has been due to them not taking care of their mental health. And I feel like also mental health, as time went, a lot of people, we, I feel like also we've, we've never really been aware of like mental health and what mental health is. Also, you know how us as black people have all, always grown up with a lot of mental disorders and all those type of things are for other races except for black people. You know how it looks in the oh, I my mom, no mom, um, I'm stressed or I'm depressed or I'm feeling some type of way, they're on some... Now, when you're in stress, was in your stress, you're still a kid and all of that. But that has also been part of the problem as to why people don't deal with their mental health is because you kind of like told that, like mental health is not a thing for you, be it as a man, be it as a black kid or whatever. But I'm glad we've gotten to a stage where we all kind of like getting woke and are aware of mental health. It could be better. I think a lot of people still don't know much about mental health. And I think it could be better, um, but I think we're on a we're on we're on a good trajectory when it comes to speaking about mental health, particularly us as men, because not as men, there's this thing you could, and when I'm a daughter, can be stressed, you can be depressed, you can be afraid, you can be anxious, you can be all the different type of things that are associated with mental health. So yeah, but I'm glad we're on a good trajectory when it comes to that, and. Yeah, on a very good trajectory. And I feel like if a lot of people, men and women, were to deal with it, would generally have a better sort of like 
society, space, and in jail. And like I was saying, being kind to one another, I think creating that platform uh, for people or creating that space in jail for people to be to look better. Hmm. There's a beautiful plane passing by here. Yeah. But yeah, guys, let me continue with my journey. Also, guys, it's important to reapply sunscreen. A lot of people, a lot of people tend to just put on sunscreen like once and they're done. But it's important to reapply, especially when you're outdoors, uh, to reapply and yeah. So let me choose myself up before I head back out. Anything for the short. These things are so so, eh? That's why it's important to wear shoes that have a very thick sole. These ones, mm. Because these things are sharp. Like, they sharp, sharp, sharp. Let me take care of this. I'll see you guys later. I'm on the other side now. No, not yet. Hey man, this route is different. I don't think I've actually taken this route before, eh? So, this park has two entrances. Um, there's two entrances. When we used to come here, we used the other entrance. Um, So the area I'm going to looks a bit different. But yeah. Yo, it's starting to get grey. The clouds are covering up. Um, so poly I'm not like yo. Perfect day to be out. Like yo. It's not too hot. The past couple of days have been scorching hot. So this is really beautiful. But also guys, a lot of people always get fooled by the weather and think that just because it's grey or gloomy. Uh, you shouldn't wear sunscreen. You still need to wear sunscreen to protect your skin. I remember even when we were in Finland, we still used to apply sunscreen. Even though it was snow, we only had like light for about four hours in the day, but we still wore sunscreen. So, so 
always make sure that you you wear sunscreen you reapply if you're gonna be outdoors um, and yeah What a morning. So we've come to the end of my day, my hike, or rather my morning and my hike. Um, and yeah, hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. Um, and as we're still in the month of November, let us continue to be kind to our beautiful gentlemen as we uh, recognize uh, November. And yeah, man. Um, also, let's take care of our mental health, guys. Um, I think it's very important uh, to take care of our mental health. I'm feeling good. The week is gonna be good. Um, and yeah, now I miss my wife. Um, let me go to my wife, my beautiful wife. Also, another thing, guys, I don't wanna lie, another thing I forgot to mention is the fact that I know a lot of people have different ways of dealing with like mental issues, and particularly if I look at social anxiety alone, guys, being married, being married to the proper person, I don't want you guys to just now go and rush to get married, but being married and having a proper supportive partner in general. My wife also does have like a bit of social anxiety. Hers is not as bad as mine. But in general, I think actually, when I think about this entire thing, really we are shy people. My wife and I are shy. My shyness is worse. Like my wife is a bit better, but mine is worse. So I think that's partly where my social anxiety also comes from, like being a shy person and being afraid of people and all of that stuff. But given that my wife's social anxiety is much better than mine, like she becomes like that pillar for us when it comes to facing people and doing things. So there are certain things I'm like, what was I gonna be if my wife wasn't here? Like wings of I ninja, wings of I smile if my wife wasn't there. So guys, like get married, get married to the right partner, get that proper partner that is gonna hold you down so shout out to my wife special shout out to my wife hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching see you guys again with another video ciao, ciao.